Hi everybody, I figured I'd jump on here and give you an update. Um feeling a little better, so I figured I'd better get a video out here. First I want to say I hope you all had a happy new year and a Merry Christmas. Um been sitting back watching a lot of your videos. Couldn't do much else after surgery. I'm on the men, so um I figured I'd just get on here and touch base with everybody. Um I could share some happy mail with you and some of the projects I've worked on. Um, and take it from there and see where we head off. Um, first, I'd like to tell you guys about a, a channel that um, reached out to me. It was a collection of lives um, with Sharon. And with Sharon, I entered one of her giveaways, and I won a $15 gift card through a company called Whisk. And they make linen bags and zipper tote bags and makeup bags and just bags in general but and I did receive I got to pick out two of them and I picked out two of them and I wanted to share with you um, what they are um, they're really nice bags this one here kind of stole my heart there a little bit it's got a sewing machine and some needles and stuff on it and they're a really good size and they're made really good the handles are tight on them and and uh, they're really good and I put a few projects in there I want to share with you guys that I did and the other one I picked out because I love roses was this one here with the roses on it the pink roses um, like I said they're fairly good size on the inside and there and got the handles on them and they're, they're, the coloring in them is just gorgeous really really just pretty um, yeah like I said her channel is connection of lives and she helps out a lot of channels like she'll play your videos for you and send them on to other people and she share things with you and and she's just a really nice lady y'all need to check her channel out it's collection of lives connection of lives not collection of lives <laughs> connection of lives sorry Jared um, and I also received some happy mail and I received this from somebody I just I just think is the greatest and we all know her as yarn barf Chrissy and she knew I was gonna have surgery and she sent me some happy mail being I'm kinda new to crochet and I'm getting there I'm really getting there. I'm getting proud of myself but I'm gonna show you guys some stuff I made but I wanted to share my happy mail with you she sent me this book, The Little Encyclopedia of Dishcloths. And in here, it's just got all kinds of different stitches that you can use for to make dishcloths. Being I'm new she, and I like to make dishcloths, she sent me this to keep me busy, along with some really pretty yarn, cotton yarn, to work making a dishcloth. I do have one in the works, but I've got it downstairs. But I wanted to bring this up here to show you that I got this happy mail. And I was, I call it excited mail, because when I got this, I was just so excited, like a kid in a candy shop. But, and I got that. Um, and I also got a really special Christmas gift a little bit early from my son. And he is just the sweetest kid. He's His name is Dale. And he said, Mama, I don't know what to get you for Christmas, so I know you're crocheting and you're learning, so here, order just some Christmas stuff. And he got me this crochet techniques and tips. And it's, I really learned a lot from this book. I, I really did. I'm learning a whole lot from it. And he ordered me couple sets of these crochet hooks. Now these crochet hooks, I really like them because I can easily hold on to them. I, I'm not sure about how long it'll be before this wears off, but I mean, I was just impressed to have them and it has a little tape measure and some stitch markers and some uh, yarn needles in the side. And I like how it rolls up, and you can just 
take it with you. It doesn't take up much room. I can throw it in my pocketbook with a ball of Christie yarn here and off I go to a doctor's appointment or wherever I need to go. And he said he really couldn't make up his mind which one he wanted to get me. So I also got this little thing. The little kitty cats on it. The string on me. And in this one, it's got all kinds of goodies in there. Got needles and scissors and uh, knitting stuff and a tape measure. That's another set of hooks. There's something else in there. I'm not sure what that is. Let me see. I can get it open here so I can show you all. <laughs> Got a little letter in there. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it's something I dropped in there. But it, it really has some goodies in here. And then the back side unzips as well. And it has more needles. This measures, I guess, the width of your yarn. Tells you what uh, weight or strength it is. Got a little pair of them clipper scissors. And some stitch markers. Can't have enough of them. Some more stitch markers and threaders. And I guess this is the width of to, to put your yarn through it. I'm not sure. I'd have to look up what that is. Like I said, I'm new. And I'm not sure what these things are. If anybody knows, there's a bunch of them in here. And you got a little hole. Does it go over your crochet hook? Or I'm, I'm stupid, people. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But if somebody could tell me in the comments what those are, I'd greatly appreciate it. But that's what that was. And yeah, that was from my oldest son. And he is 43 years old now. And his name is Dale. And he's single, ladies. He's never been married, no children. He uh, had a girlfriend for a really, really long time, and she was a little older than him, and she already had children, so they, she was done having children, and so him and her finally busted up, and he spent a lot of years with her, so he never had any children with her, and now he lives alone, and he's a sweetheart, if I do say so myself. Um, I have six sons, but he's the oldest. Now, I've been working on this, and it's a shawl, and I'm still working on it. I did. I had a bunch of Mandela Sparkle yarn. I didn't know what to do with it, and this is in the color of Nova. So, I've just been working on the shawl, if you all can see it. And I thought... It's the very first one. Well, it's, I can't say it's the first one because the first one I did, I was trying to follow a pattern and I was really new and kind of messed up. And it started looking like a box and then a triangle. It was just a crochet mess. So it wound up being a dog blanket for Tootsie and she likes it. Instead of tearing it apart, I just give it to the dog. So she has it for a blanket. Now I have to fight with her to get it in the washer. But this is the shawl. I'm working on and I thought about putting some fringes on the ends all the way around like some fringes to hang down but that's the shawl I worked on um, I made my grandson a blanket for Christmas with some yarn that I had laying around for years and he's there was another lady that he we were very, very good friends, and she, her sons grew up with my sons, and she got sick, and she had sent me a bunch of yarn, and my grandson was really close to her, too, and she had sent me a bunch of yarn, so I thought it would be nice to crochet him a blanket for Christmas from the yarn of one of his grandmas and from the hands 
of his other grandmother. So he now has a blanket. I put some roughly fringe around the outside, but it's striped. And it was made with many different kinds of yarn. I can't tell you the names of all of them, but they're all kind of the same weight. And it's got some ribbing in there, if you can see it, ribbing in there. And I was running out of the blue, so I just threw a strap of white in there. So then I had to do it down on the other side to make it kind of match. So, and he's 17 years old, and he loves handmade stuff. And he just got this, and he was just tickled. Because he said he has his grandma's now to keep him warm. Okay, and let me get this out of the way. The other thing I finished was I have a little granddaughter that lives in South Dakota, and her name is Larkin. And she has a few medical issues, but she loves really, really bright colors. So I made her this. And Grandma's going to get it out to you. I just got to get to the post office. And it's a good sized little blanket for her. She's four. And she is just the sweetest little thing. And there's that. Kind of like similar stitches, but not. This one don't have the ribbing. Well, maybe. I guess a piece of fuzz on there. But yeah. I made that. I got it done. I think in one of my videos I was showing you I was working on it. Um, but I, like I said, I've had nothing but time in the chair. Today is actually the first day I've really felt like climbing up the steps and doing a video and... Where I've not been as sore. I'm telling you, the surgery was a pit. And then I was watching uh, Creative Grandma. Some of the old videos. I go back and just binge watch videos. I have nothing better to do, so I just watch them. And I watched her step by step on making this little daisy patch blanket. And I had some scrap yarns, sort of in the colors that she used. And so I started one of them, and it's going to look you make all these little squares. This one. It's in the pinks and the yellow. Or white and green. I got a thread on it. Working on that. And there's one in the lavender. And white. And then I did one in the yellow and the white. And I want to do one with a blue flower. And then I'm going to make a bunch of them and then hook them all together. And that's going to be a project that I'm working on as well. Um, I also want to put something out there. I'm waiting for, when I reach 150 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. And there will be a lot of different types of things in there. As you all know, I like to do a lot of different types of crafts. I crochet, I embroider, I make things, I sew a little bit. Um, and I just do different things. Um, and I'd like to do a giveaway. I have a few packages that I want to mail out to a few few of you out there that um, I made a little something for you. I just, same as the Christmas cards, they were found in the truck. They never got mailed. <laughs> oh, I've been a mess. But, um, yeah. And I just wanted to thank you all and give you an update on my video. And say thank you for all the prayers and everybody uh, checking in on me. It's uh, been a road, let me tell you. And I just hope that I continue to stay on the men. I don't have any more health issues, although I do have one more surgery coming up on the 17th. Um, but it's, I don't think it's going to be as severe, just a little more painful, they said. and So that would be one that i got to get through, a hurdle. But I believe in the Lord, and he's going to help me out with that. So, uh, But that's what I wanted to jump on here and share. And I hope you all are having a good year. And uh, I'm going to take you all up on going through the stashes and cleaning out your stashes before you move on. Because I have a lot of fabric. I have some scrap. I'm not a big, I don't have a whole lot of yarn. I'm 
I just have maybe a tote, something like that, because I'm new. Um, but I have a lot of other crafting things and embroidery things, and I'm going to try to get all that stuff done up and do a few other little snippets here and there. Let y'all know what I'm working on from time to time. But I've been watching all your videos and commenting on your videos. And I want to thank you guys for keeping me company. Uh, like I said, I've been confined to a chair downstairs. And it's been a long week. Feels like it's been a month. But it's been a long week. Because I couldn't get up and do much of anything. Um, and uh, I hope y'all have a good day. And on that note, I'll... Remember, y'all stay safe out there and have a happy new year and be kind to one another and keep showing the love and support that we have in this community because y'all, just like if I could crochet a, a chain, I'd wrap it all around y'all and give you one great big hug because you're all just so sweet. Um, I keep y'all in my prayers, keep y'all in my thoughts and... That's it. So, talk to y'all later. Bye now.